We're going to get the lag going, joining from this one, Imran Majid. Hi guys, and uh, looking forward to this one. Two absolute legends of the game. Battling it out, race to five, alternate break. Shame on Bonnie, when's the lag? First lag. Now we saw Shame, Shane Bonnie, yesterday break. adopting a very powerful break. A little bit different to the other players. He likes to smash them, 100 mile an hour. And uh, more times than not, does get a good result. Didn't hit them full plough, but um, he's got a nice shot on the three here. Slightly off angle to get to the four, so not as straightforward as it looks. Yeah, he does break, unlike other players. We can see that on the opening three days. This is going to take a very good shot to get on this pink four. He done pretty good there, but Star unfortunately shot. goes Go straight in the sink. Start the clock, please. It was a good pot, wasn't it, at that speed? Yeah, where do you think he was trying to get to? For the pink in the same pocket as the red three? Maybe, yeah, or trying to get this side of the, the four to play it up top or in the side. Table two action is underway. Melin's playing Chu Che Yu. Unfortunately, the ladies' world nine ball champ is yet to win a match. She is zero from seven. She just tied the match up. It's 1-1. One, one. And as always, if you want to watch that match, if you want to watch Chris, you can watch it on the Matchroom Multi Sport YouTube channel. So Alex needs to play a good little shot here to get good position on the seven to get to the eight. It's always a good uh, idea in nine ball, Paul, is to think three shots ahead. That should set you up nicely for the rack. I'll be thinking, how do I get from the seven to the eight, and then from the eight to the nine? That was quite a clever shot. Dislodging the seven off the rail into open play. Now I'll be thinking, I need an angle on the eight to get to the nine. I've got to say, Carl, your cue ball was very good back in the day when you were playing as a professional. You and think? Uh, yes, I know it was. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, a lot of pool players are glad that you retired, <laughs> including myself. Some of the <laughs> British ones. <laughs> yeah, Alex Pagalion prides himself on his cue ball. He said in comms before when he was in here with me and Alex, he's a cue ball player. Yeah, and obviously being a connoisseur of one pocket that game is all about cubal yeah one pocket if you're wondering what that is that is a game you can you can play on the on a pool table so pagalayan wins the opener weren't really a bad shot from shane was it he was faced with a very difficult opener and obviously it went awry interesting this though because svb is on five wins from seven pagalion's on five wins from eight so svb's got a game in hand but they're on the same Stay points cool. they see table two one apiece melon at the table he's had tip problems queuing problems i've been speaking to him upstairs all week Second he said i can't pot a ball i've gone <laughs> eating problems he couldn't eat his <laughs> nandos without dropping it all down his shirt yeah, so he's facing problems, but he's doing okay. Well, he sits in 10th place, four wins from eight. And that Lovely was a break by Alex. Yeah, I mean, that. How do you like that for a break, Carl? Yeah, it looked like there was going to be loads of clusters, but everything just seemed to open up. Yeah, I wouldn't say that was on the powerful side that break but um it's effective to say the least 
This is a nice shot. Play the ball with high left. Go three rails for a shot on the five. This this rack's all about seven to eight. A brown seven to the eight ball. Yeah, it's probably going to stun off uh, the long rail here. Or draw off it. Probably five o'clock on the cue ball. Getting closer to his work. He wants good position on the seven, like Carl said. And uh, if I were him, I'd try and get close. Even straight in right behind it would be ideal. But ideally wants that angle so he can play the eight in the bottom left as well. See how his cuba is close to his object ball there. Makes the, the rack Ooh, oh, much shot. easier. That was a uh, in hand. Miss Q. What that a mistake there. Nice. Uh, just trying to draw the cue ball back in between the gap and the old Miss Q. That's where they say you should always look at your tip when you're chalking. If you don't look at your tip, you think you've chalked your tip perfectly, but there's actually gaps. Well, you haven't chalked the cue properly, so that's a good tip for you budding Shall players out there. The rack. Well, SVB will have been sat in his chair thinking, I'm about to go two down somehow. He's now sat there breaking at 1-1. One, one. Melling won the rack over on the other table, so he takes a 2-1 lead. We said earlier on, this was all about SVB tonight in the sense of he's playing back-to-back -back matches now. After this match, he'll stay on this table to play Naoki Oi. Naoki Oi has been playing pretty good as well. He's got a pretty good uh, record in the overall standings. The third rack, Shane Van Bonning to break. Yeah, I think Naoki Oi is the only other player that has only lost one match. He's six wins out of seven. Oh, nine ball knocking on the door there. Well, it'll be going soon. Look where the three ball is. Look where the two. Because he breaks so hard in man, he does get the nine ball moving more than others. And he's trying to actually pot the nine and was very close to doing so. So here's the fine art, this new break format. And in the blink of an eye, three shots later, SVB goes 2-1 up. We're going to take a short break. Do not miss the end of this battle between two of the biggest names in nine ball. Thank you. Track four. Alex Pagulan to break. Trailing by two racks to one. Well, Alex's last shot in this match was a miscue. He would have felt good. He would have felt like he was going to go 2-0 up. He's now 2-1 down, but he's breaking. Nice break again. Has he got a shot? No. Doesn't look like it. The ultimate punishment. Sometimes you can break, get a nice layout. And then sometimes you've no shot on the lowest ball. That's the nature of the beast. Alex, very clever with his push outs, though. Now we'll see what he had up his sleeve. Shane will probably put him back. At first glance, you, you don't see what Alex is going to play, do you? Two is like an... It's like an open table. It's like an open play. Maybe can snick it, yeah. So that was a poor shot by Alex then, leaving Shane that shot. Yeah, that might work against some of the lower-ranked players on the circuit, mm. but... 
against one of the greatest, you're going to come out worse. Yeah. Pagalain's going airborne. Not very often he uses the short stick as he fluked it. It's close. Yeah, it's in. He'll take it. Nice shot on the three. Yeah, that's the side of the game that can frustrate you as a professional because Shane's come to the table off a push. Feels like he's played a good shot and then a fluke has kept him in the chair. mind his work a little bit it's not a foregone conclusion this rack yeah he must be able to stretch over the table that's why he's put the bridge back Chris Melling about to take a 3-1 lead and table two. He's in perfect line. Pack line will just refocus. When you have a miscure, you miss an easy pot sometimes that just seems to settle you down a bit, doesn't it? G gives you a bit more focus on every shot. Make sure it's chalk in the queue. Yeah, you could see that. He was my favourite player growing up. I used to love watching Alex. He's younger than me, Imran. Imran, where's the rack? Surely you, you, you watch an older player, don't you? <laughs> Who's your favourite player that that was older? Was it Earl, somebody like that? Yeah, it has to be Earl, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just the way he played. Definitely the best nine ball player on the planet. Yeah, his, just his shot making prowess was uh, just spectacular, wasn't it? Yeah, so Melin is 3 1 up on table two. Cho Che Yu is yet to win a match. After that match, if she goes on to lose, she will have played right, eight five. matches. Khalid al Gamdi has played Tourette's eight it. matches. He's only won one match, so 16 matches between them and just the one win. And the reason why I'm saying this, she stays on to play the last match on table two against al Gamdi. Captain America smashes the one ball into the side pocket. I think he's partially snookered on the two ball. Push Might have a cold. thin edge. But um, no attacking option available. Yeah, opted for the jump shot. <clears throat> Shane got the short stick, yeah? So he's playing a jump bank into the bottom right corner. It is sort of a calculated shot, this, because if you miss the two, you have cover with all those balls, unless you scratch straight Bowshot. in the side. Bow in hand. Didn't hit that as well as if he could have. Start the club, please.
See Alex using the long rail there to help the ball in. Alex is probably pretty adept with the extension. Not being the, the tallest of chaps, probably has to use it quite a lot. And I bet he's good with the, the rest as well, or the rake. Yeah, that was a nice positional shot. He's landed perfect on the four. All he's got to do is come down towards the centre of the table. He's going to come off the rail, actually. He's going to go forward off the side rail, back over to the centre. Do you clear the eight ball here, Carl, or do you stay before the eight ball? I feel like he's going to just stay above it. I don't okay. think he would risk going near the eight. I would be surprised anyway. It doesn't seem to be his style of game. Yeah, there you see, he just goes yeah. above it. Natural angle from the six to get to the seven. Seven ball slots in the side. Yeah, and that's what you've seen here. You've seen perfect cue ball control, which makes the finish seem easier. Alex about to introduce his new brand shortly. He's uh, quite excited about that. Not all you Peggy Lion fans can uh, get some merchandise and I believe there's coaching sessions available and stuff like that. Yeah, also, if you've seen the podcast between Jason Shaw and Emily Fraze, I'm sure... I'm allowed to say this, no one's told me I've not. Alex Pagalion has been filming a podcast today with Emily. So I'm sure that's going to be out soon. I'm sure that's going to be a, an interesting watch and an interesting listen to. I'm sure he's got plenty of stories. This is what Melin's faced with. It's 4 2. He's on the two ball. He can't get past the three. Extension call. Cool. For the nine. But what he's looking at playing is the two onto the top of the brown seven Correct. to pot the nine. Excellent. This is what he lives for, these type of little Ladies quirky special. shots. Well, I'll let the viewers know if he makes that. As Pagline breaks, three, two. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was totally on that uh, Chris tried but uh... yeah Melin did miss the shot but he fluked the ball so he's still at the table Pagalion's still at the table this is a long one could be quite straight as well on the blue two that's the lowest ball and making the two doesn't really afford any position for the three I don't think Alex is shooting at this ball. I think he's playing safe. Looks like he's going for it. Slow run? quite a way away from that pot. Yeah, he's very brave there, but he's been playing some good stuff the last few months, so he's feeling good about his game. They're horrible, then, when you've got a slow roll on and a dead straight, and he's let SVB in, and this is a good chance for Shane. Not quite got the cue ball where he wants. Well, 
Nice little shot there, finding the gap between the seven and the eight. Not sure what kind of shot he's got on the four. Not sure if it goes past the five. Looks like he's, it does, because he's down quick. Or is he playing the combo? I tried the combo, but missed it by quite some way. And has left Alex an easy safety here behind the five. That was tricky. It was off angle. It wasn't easy at all. Nicely done. Shane's in trouble. Just got to try and make contact. Doesn't look to be a, some form of kick safe. That's why he's getting down pretty quick. Yeah, I think he'll go three rails here. Seems like a bigger ball to hit three rails. But he misses it. Oh, shot. Ball in hand. It's not like Shane. Start the clock. I'm not saying it was an easy kick, but he does usually get out of most of the uh, hooks on a pool table. Melling got the win. So, Cho Che Yu is now no wins from eight. Yeah, I do feel sorry for her. She's a lot better than that, you know, scoreline suggests. Yeah, she's lost a few matches, 5-4, five, 5-3, five, but it's just not quite happened. And as I said earlier, she's going to stay on that table, table two, to play Khalid al Gamdi, who's only won one match out of eight. So even though it's not a top of the table clash or trying to qualify, there's still a little bit of something going on there. You don't want to finish last, do you? And for the two players on table one, Alex and Shane, this is all about trying to get <coughs> well wins A to qualify in the top ten. But obviously moving forward after we lose the bottom six, the wins carry over, the points carry over. So you've got to stay high because the next stage of the event, that's where it's going to be key. Killing the cue ball there, using some left-hand spin. Probably seven o'clock on the cue ball. For elementary nine. So it's the old Lion Filipino Lion. legend, the Lion Alex Pagalain, who's the first man to get on the hill. This match is 4-2 in the favour of Alex. We're back after this short break to see how this match finishes up. Rack seven. Shame I'm morning to break. Trailing by four racks to two. Consistently making the one ball. Quite a lot of movement. He gets quite a lot of movement on that nine ball, I was going to say, Carl. Yeah, that's just how consistently he hits that break. You, know, you see, he comes off the side rail straight into the nine. But he's missed a trick in a couple of racks, hasn't he? And that's why he's trailing 4-2. So he's going to need to win the last three. I think he can just miss the five ball here, swing round two rails for the four in the opposite pocket. But do you have to pop the ball, Shane? That was a surprising miss. Um, <clears throat> it seems like a lot of players are still jet lagged. Obviously, they're just coming from a big tournament in Las Vegas. And... Um, you know, maybe they're not playing their best ball and firing on all cylinders, you know. It can have a, a big effect on you and your fatigue. Yeah, long days as well, but you certainly feel like someone like Shane and Alex, you know, they're so used to playing these big long matches, aren't they, over, over big distances. They've kind of done that all their life. There you see the safety play from Pagalane. Didn't fancy the combo, lock Shane up. Feels like he's got him in a good spot. And it's another oh. miss. Ball in hand. Start the shot clock, please. Still got a little bit of work to do. 
Uh, has to play the 5-7 combination and control the five ball as well. I think after that, I'm not sure if the six ball goes in the side, but there's a 6-9 carom in the side. If it doesn't go, that could be an option. Interesting to see. He's left an angle now on this four ball. He obviously wants to de develop that cluster. Maybe he thought he couldn't control the five ball off the... Probably hit the seven going round it. Yep, nicely done. Brilliant shot there from Alex. Good touch on that shot. This looks tight, the six ball into the side pocket and into the corner. Does he play the carom or does it fly in? Maybe it flies in. Yeah, he's right behind it, so that would tell me it goes. Thinking about the carom now. <laughs> yeah, he's having a, some other look. Choice. Obviously, if the six goes with ease, you just pop the four balls, ball. don't you? Yeah. Shane played good against Earl Strickland. He looked like he was, you know, the Shane we all know, the big powerful shots attacking the table in this match, complete opposites. Not been at the races at all, and looks like Tagline's going to win now, and Shane's got to stay on the table. These two players have actually got a lot of history. They've been uh, involved in a lot of gambling matches together. At one point, Alex told me he was following Shane around the country. Every tournament he went to, he'd follow him. 